Hey guys, I'm back with a uh, layout update. Um, it's been a while. I know I posted some videos saying that I was going to get one going, so I finally got to it. Uh, let's get started. Uh, over here, scrapyard. Still the same. Added some uh, some junk I had laying around. I just took a piece of styrene and made it. Uh, made everything, you know, glued everything to it. And sprayed it with a primer, uh, like a primer, uh, what's it, the primer red color. And then just threw some black in there, so that made it look like it was rusty. There's a Conrail hopper. It's my next one I'm going to be weathering. I don't know if I ever showed you this. It's my CP rail. Uh, coal hopper that got in an accident. i got to finish putting the chains on. It's on a CP rail uh, bulkhead. Uh, I'm sure it doesn't go on a bulkhead, but my railroad, so that's what they put it on. But uh, I did a CP and CP theme, just so, you know, CP brought this down here and uh, shipped it down here to get scrapped. Uh, so that's that. Uh, I saw Big Al, or Al Mayo, or Monster Railroad, however you want to say it, make these with the screen. So I attempted it. Came out pretty cool. Um... Thank you for showing us how to make them. It's a big money saver right there. Here's my uh, Conrail hopper. I weathered up. Uh, I got some uh, Penn Central green coming through. I saw a, uh, a picture on, I don't know where, but uh, it had Penn Central coming through it, so it was pretty neat, so I did that. The famous upside down R I stuck on a uh, tank car. Um, here's another, this is the same Conrail as I showed you in the box, with different numbers. So I made this one look like they painted the bottom, if there was really rusted. I showed you this one before, it's the messed up lettering, but, oh well, stuff, stuff happens. Lumber yard, um, pretty much still the same. The, uh, the guys are still in the cup, but I got some plywood loads I have laid out. Um. Other than that, nothing else really going on there. Um, Alright, let's go under. Alright, up here, um, I got lights installed on the, uh, the engine building. Um, I'll turn them on in a second. Um, I got this, uh, I think it's a... SD45, not sure, it's a cotton belt, it's a dummy, I got it for like $15 or something, um, I painted the roof white, I saw a picture with it, it was all turbo, uh, caught fire and stuff, this is just pretty much going to be pulled with my BNSF power, as, uh, it's just extra power, even though it's not really power, just give it some other color to go with, um, I stripped the paint off this, Conrail SD50, I think it is. Um, I took it off because the uh, I weathered it and messed it up, so I just stuck it. I just stuck it in alcohol and stripped it. The number's still there, so when I get to it, I'll. Uh, actually, I got. I think the stickers or the decals are on order. Um, once they come in, I'll paint it and everything like that. Um, I weathered up this one. The CSX, I don't know if you can really tell, but, uh, yeah, it's weathered. Well, you kind of see up top there. Mm, this SD50 I just bought last night at the train store, stuck a decoder in it. Um, brand new, so that's pretty neat. I, uh, I haven't programmed it yet, but, uh, yeah, it's neat. I knocked the windows out in the front by mistake, so I gotta take it apart again and you know, put the windows back in. Um, this fuel depot is new. Um, it was a Walther's two track. Um, obviously, I had no room for it anywhere. So, what I did is I just took the padding and the details that it came with and I uh, made my own fueling station. Um, it's on this track lead into the engine house. So, um, I think it came out pretty cool. I got some hoses, I just used wire. And uh, there's a chain, there's a guy with the hose, there's a 
I guess the electrical box for the pumps in the ground. But uh, it's pretty neat because uh, you know they need diesel fuel, so that's what I put in. Uh, bridge. It's always. I don't know if the bridge has been there. Um, but I weathered up a little bit. I gotta still weather up some more. It goes nowhere. Uh, that tree. That's a bush I found outside. I just spray painted it green. Looks pretty, uh, pretty good for a tree. A uh, bunch of hobos sitting there. And there's the other guy coming off the, uh, the top track. There's a doodle bug, uh, my friend. Uh, he gave me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. My uh, maintenance away building. I weathered up. So I still gotta finish the door. Um, this over here. Still gotta put water in. I've been putting this talus or whatever it is down uh, for a retaining wall. I had some runners. One guy fell over. My station. I put this bicentennial there as a display. Um, I'm gonna put a plaque or something just showing the history of it. Something neat. Um, just shows you the history of the railroad or whatever. Still going to do a town over here. Uh, over here, nothing's changed, like always. Still the same. I'm actually planning on going back uh, another six foot. Um, the plans are in the works. Um, I just need to have time to tear it down and rebuild. There's my, uh, my center beam I weathered up. I made a video of that. Sorry about this video, it's on my phone too, by the way. And there's the uh, Cargill salt I weathered up. Back here, this was never in. I added a, uh, a ramp to go up. That's going to be a mechanic shop. Um, the house isn't going to stay there, I just put that there. But here's the church. This is probably going to be removed because of the uh, expansion. These two tracks are going to go back that way near the uh, ocean spray, uh, spring water, you know, area over there. Um, so that might move or I might move it forward so I can still have it. Nothing's changed over here. This is all the same. It's all the same. Coal mine. I just got rid of it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do any coal, but I decided to keep it. Just another industry I can switch in and out. Uh, cars when I have nothing else better to do but uh, this is all the same this is pretty much scenic in maybe 80% I still got to do up top obviously but this area is pretty good I got some little touch ups to do um, I got this Walther's uh, crossing gate I got to get the Walther's signal system to uh, operate it I don't want to mess anything up before I uh, you know, I even get the chance to use it. Uh, everything here is the same. I got a, uh, a Pico curve switch to go in. Um, this far outside where these where these cars are sitting, that's my intermodal yard. Um, and then this inside track goes to the new switching area. Uh, here's a shot of the. Oops, sorry. Here's a shot of the uh, switching area. Um, it came out pretty cool. Um, this I'm going to put in industry here. Probably a DPM kit or uh, pike stuff. I'm going to make up my own. I'm not sure what it's going to be. It can hold about uh, four or five box cars. So I want it to be something interesting. Here's a switch tower I threw in. Um, this highway bridge I weathered up. Uh, you can see it. Hold on. There you go. Put the yellow line down the middle. Not really a highway bridge, just a single or a two lane road. I still got to paint the backdrop. But it looks pretty cool. I painted the, uh, the bottom green around where I live. I see that it's green everywhere. So I still got to weather it up so the diesel smoke and, uh, you know, just rain water and everything else like it does in real life. Here's the road I did. Um, this line here is a uh, it's for like box cars it's going to be unloading um, I guess it'd be a team track not 100% sure but uh, it's just for unloading box cars or flat cars of just little items um, goes nowhere 
all this is is just 20 minute play as they're sanded down and then why it was a little wet you mix up some uh, water and gray paint and you put it on there and it gives us um, just gives it this effect that it looks like road I think it looks good um, but other people may have a different opinion and it is what it is I stop, stuck a stop sign in there so they know to stop and I put since there's not really a main crossing I put uh, the focuses it says uh, look for there you go look for trains so, just so like I said it's not going to have a crossing um, but I put in a uh, a bypass line so if uh, something's switching out the uh, the uh, the flour mill then you know this box car this line could go to the box car track or team track or whatever and do whatever it has to without interfering with operations of the uh, the, the flour mill um, these two tracks one's empties and one's obviously uh, filled tracks but the fences have to be standed up, but that's what it that's what it looks like down at HO level. I think it turned out pretty cool from what it was in my last video. It was just a piece of plywood, so um, that's it really. Uh, let me turn that lights on so you guys can see them. Like again, the intermodal is still sitting the same. Nothing has changed on it. Um, steam engine is obviously not supposed to be sitting there, but I did some cleaning of the track, so I moved it. The scenic this in a little bit. Still got to do a little more. The intermodal building still the same. I got to put the pillars in and little tolls or whatever it is that they intercoms or something. But, uh, here's the lights. Looks pretty cool from the distance. I got a light on the inside too. Obviously, you can see. Um, I still got to put more in, but it's definitely pretty neat at nighttime when the uh, lights aren't on. Looks pretty neat. So, alright, guys. Well, it was uh, good to do an update video again. Uh, like I always say, I hope to make more videos, but uh, for some reason, I never get around to it. If anything else changes, I'll try to make an update. Uh, again, thanks for watching and please comment.